The Imperial Royal Guards were the personal bodyguards, servants, and even assassins for the Sith Lord and Emperor of the Galactic Empire, Palpatine. A Royal Guardsman never seeks special privileges, ever. His entire goal in life is to serve the Emperor and the new order he created. This is his goal in life and his desire in death. Although the Red Guard mainly stuck to missions strictly given to them by their Emperor and could often be found directly at his side or just out of sight, the Guards were given several specific missions that forced them away from their beloved Emperor. Although the Guards primarily follow the commands of the Emperor, they understand their place in the Imperial Hierarchy and will also submit to individuals who outrank them. Individuals such as Grand Moff Tarkin or Darth Vader, but only if the commands do not conflict with the orders of their only true master, the Emperor. Because of this, Darth Vader has run into several confrontations with the Royal Guards, as they can seem defiant at times and unable to submit to his great power and control over the Empire. Even beyond this, the Royal Guards were commissioned to spy on the progress and developments of Darth Vader and report back to their Emperor on all Vader's affairs throughout the stars. The reason for keeping such close tabs on Vader was primarily to ensure that Palpatine always maintained the upper hand on his apprentice. This is because Vader has several times in the past plotted to overthrow his master and take his place as the one Dark Lord and leader of the Empire. Even from the beginning, Darth Vader wished to become the only true Sith Emperor. The Royal Guards were placed near to Vader to dissuade him from actively seeking means in which to destroy Palpatine, as despite Vader knowing he could destroy the Guards, he would know word would eventually find its way back to his master. Because the Guards were ordered to keep tabs on Vader, they were also privy to the top secret information that Vader and even Palpatine himself were Sith Lords and used the Force. This was even touched upon and confirmed in the novel Lords of the Sith, where it explains the the Royal Guards hold this dark secret because of their unflinching loyalty to Palpatine. Vader seldom saw his master so publicly demonstrate his power, and he understood what it meant. Of course, there must be no survivors who could bear witness. Only the Royal Guards could be allowed to live. Only they could be trusted never to reveal what they'd seen, or even to talk about it among themselves. In Rogue One, the Guards were even placed at Vader's castle during his back the tank session. This was primarily done to protect the Sith Lord when he was at his most vulnerable, but was also done as a reminder that even at his weakest and during his most personal moments, the Emperor was there, watching him. Because the guards were essentially viewed as an extension of Palpatine, Vader always seemed to have his master around him and made his schemes to overthrow him far more difficult to orchestrate. In a sense, when the Red Guards were around, Palpatine was as well. While Darth Vader was the Emperor's greatest tool in controlling the galaxy, he was also simultaneously his greatest threat to his rule, as it was the way of the Sith to overthrow the master, or at very least, seek to. Despite being injured on Mustafar, Vader did in fact still continue to pursue this. In Legends continuity, Vader was forced to lose the Imperial Red Guards when he was searching for an ancient Sith artifact, the Myrrh Talisman, in hopes he could use it to kill Palpatine. Later in the timeline, Vader would even request to confront Luke Skywalker on his own, in hopes of turning him to the dark side even before Palpatine had a chance to see Luke's true power. Palpatine full well knew that Vader desired to ultimately kill him and take his place, which is why he kept such close tabs on the Dark Lord. Palpatine's greatest weapon was his greatest threat. So that is why the Royal Red Guard were ordered to spy and report on Darth Vader, and this gives way more meaning every time we see Vader and the Red Guards together. Seeing them together is almost a slight insult to Vader, and a reminder that the Emperor is always watching him, and analyzing his every move and development. So what are your thoughts on this addition to the Star Wars mythos, and what are your thoughts on this explanation? And as a big question for the video, how many Royal Guards do you think it would take to kill Darth Vader? Before you exit the video, if we could try to get this video to 6,000 likes before the first 24 for hours, that would mean a ton, as every single like helps a bunch. Thanks again for watching. If you would like to join me in the daily Star Wars discussion and debates, follow me on Twitter, at Stupendous Wave. Link will be in the description. If you enjoyed this video and feel it deserves it, it would really help me out if you could leave a like. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel to keep up to date with everything Star Wars related, from news, explanations, and theories from a galaxy far, far away. If you have any video topics you would like to see addressed in a future video, do not hesitate to leave them in the comments below the video, or again, tweet them at me. As always, your viewership and support means the world. May the Force be with you, and have a great day.